Yep, should be. It's all on. No, I mean, is, if it's showing oh. like that, are you okay with that? I don't care. Do you care? I don't care. I don't care. <clears throat> all right, you ready? Hi. <laughs> We're two pearls in a pod. I'm Cheryl. And I'm Becky. And, and today is July, July 5th. 5th. Yep. Happy 4th of July. So yesterday. we spent yesterday out on motorcycles with our husbands and apparently I do not put my sunscreen on my face very well so I'll just call it out right now. I had my glasses on, I had a headband thing down to here and I did not sunscreen Dang, very well. It's okay. But I have a sunburned ankle so <laughs> figure that one out. Mm-hmm. I need boots. Right. So Cheryl talked us into being Harley people, mm-hmm. right? And I'm, I have quite a, a Harley journey. shirt, my first Harley shirt on today. My my own cleavage keeps distracting me because I'm not used to letting anyone see that. Mm-hmm. I usually wear like this. But today, but we've got I Harley. Got some sun too. Yes, and my shirt is from Ohio Bike Week at Mad River. So that was our. You guys didn't go to Bike Week this year, next year. No, right. Stand by right. for Bike Week. So we have a trike because I won't get on the back of two wheels because mm-hmm. I'm a big chicken. Very much a chicken. We got caught in the rain for a minute yesterday, but it was fun anyway. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we were caught in the rain. We, we went into Meyer, into the department. The, like, it's like the Walmart mm-hmm. Meyer. Some people who don't live in the area might not know what Meyer is. We went into Meyer, and when we came out, it was how chicken must feel in an Instapot. It was so <laughs> hot and so sticky, yes. and it was, man, it was humid yesterday. Yes. So, you know, like, a, I probably two podcasts ago, we were complaining pretty hard about how cold it was, and now it is... And all the rain. It is rain. hotter than Hades in Ohio. Yeah, what, but, probably 90 yesterday, I yeah, think. It was hot. Ne- next, weekend, next weekend, we're going on up on a ride with our our hog owners group our harley owners group out from perrysburg and we're going to flight 93 and that's going to be a two overnight three day two overnight thing over in pennsylvania shanksville pennsylvania and so it'll be it'll actually be this is a knitting uh fiber podcast but but it's summertime it's It's summertime in ohio and so um uh, and actually, my finished objects, my FOs, are going to show that it's summertime in Ohio because I don't have very much done. I, I haven't finished anything lately either. Mm-hmm. <coughs> so, with all that throat. being said, um, I do where have we some. Start? I have a little bit of yarn I bought. We could show what we bought. Okay. Our, what do we call them? Accusations. No, accusations. Acquisitions. Acquisitions. Maybe? Maybe? Yeah. yeah. Um, there you go. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I didn't just buy for stash. I didn't just buy for the sake of stash this time. I I have projects, which is so not like me. You, you want to go? go first? I bought this for a particular project, but at the moment, I don't remember why. And I just got it. And this is from... It's basic sock, fingering weight from AJHC and I got it at Crafty Needle and let's see mm. if I can figure out the colors I these are Greek gods Dino Dinonus I don't know how to say that mm. D-I-O-N-Y-S-U-S and so I'm not even sure which one's which but you're not sure what you're going to do with them? Ghost plant. I'm guessing this is ghost plant, but mm, I don't really know for sure. I It's a good color. It's showing it pretty good. I had here. something picked out, but I it'll come back to me eventually. It's summertime in Ohio. I probably have it printed in my what else do you got? bag of goodies. Oh, you have my all chicken your... club. Oh, God. I received the next installment of my chicken club. I'm I'm sad. It's so it's pretty. It's really nice. And I think maybe this Where's is number pin? four. And it came with this pin that says knit on chicks. Oops, I don't know if you can see that or not. Let's see. 
Mm, that is so going. cute. So that's my little pin collection so far. I think I have a couple more I need to find. I know I have that bear. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure where Did I put you it, put um, you know, my new llama? Okay. That was a gift from mm. Wool and Honey. Wool and Honey. We'll talk about that in a few. Yep. And then let's see. Is there... I can't remember if we showed this or not. I think we I did. I think we did. But it's, but it, it's worth pretty. it's worth showing it again. Skin cocaine. And that was from Cast On and Vermilion. Maybe I have two. I'll yeah. have to watch back and see. No, I know I have. I two. have two. <laughs> so that's all that I've got new. I did get one other sock one. Of course, I can't find it, but. I'll show it next time. Did we mention it's summertime in Ohio, so we're a little bit scattered. Knitting is not the priority right now, apparently. Our guys, we're at Becky's house, and our husbands and her son-in-law are off riding, going to Perrysburg to buy... What are they going to buy? Oh, patches. Patches for okay. the vest. Okay, yeah, patches for the vest for the hot group. Jim needs his patches because yeah. he's a new member. Yes. Is that all you have for... That's all I have. You didn't get news. anything else in your mailbox? What have you been doing? Well, just the Moana, the chicken Moana, but I don't, I lost it hmm. in my yarn room. Yeah, you normally do way better than this. I know. Well, so apparently I've done better. <clears throat> yes. We went on vacation, um, Don and I did, to Lewiston, Michigan with my family with my mom's side of the family and it was 30 some people and these cabins everybody has their own cabin and um we go up every year around father's day so don and i kind of shop hop our way up there well we did harley shops and harley dealers and a couple yarn stores it wasn't a ton of yarn stores this time we did do because we're collecting poker chips for our harley boards and we did our personal best in six days we went to 12. And they were pretty spread out, so up there. But I did get, on our way up, I went to <clears throat> Bay City, Michigan, to, I wrote it, I wrote it down because I didn't want to forget it. It's called A Piece of You in Bay City, Michigan. It's a cute little store, and I've been there before. So I bought, um, to make this cowl, they had a sample done up there, and it was really That's super cute. cute. Do they have a lot of um, combinations they, to yeah, choose from? Yeah, they had quite a few combinations, and then it was sold like this. So it's sock yarn, and like you cast on, and then you just knit each one until it's gone, and it'll just kind of fade up on its own. And that included the pattern? Yes. Yep, it, the pattern was in, inside. It's called Twist and Fade. By Jennifer Beale, um, says her Ravelry username, stitch a -miss. Um, But yeah, they had it done up and it was so cute. I tell you, when they have stuff like that done up, if I just seen this, if I just seen this pattern, I would have been like, yeah, I whatever. know samples make such a big difference. I but think. the sample made a big difference. So that was, I bought that. Then I bought a pattern that is going to make me have to go see Brenda because she carries this. How do you say this? Hmm. I don't know how to say well, that. Well, like koi, koi goo maybe because isn't the koi fish spelled? Yeah, koi goo. So I bought this. This was a church mouse pattern. It has beads in it. And those, those koi goo skeins of yarn are kind of smaller. Do you remember? I think they're 50 gram skeins. Mm -hmm. But it's such a cute little, it's really a cute little beret. It's really pretty. So I thought I would like to try that. <laughs> what is that? That's my dishwasher oh. is done. So we have clean dishes. We'll put them away later, I guess. <laughs> um, I think when, uh, when Lucy did a podcast with me, it drove me crazy because I could see that my curtains were <clears throat> messed up in the background, so... They're better OCD, today. OCD kicking in. Yes. It's better okay. today, though. That's all you bought? No, oh, on, okay. on the way up. <laughs> okay. Traveling up. And it's five hours <clears throat> to get from home up to the cabins. So we got to the cabins, and then, I don't know, it was cold. It, we had the heat on every night. It was cold. So it was the week 
we went up the Saturday before Father's Day. We came back home a day early. We came back down Friday because they were getting their trike, and we just wanted to get home to basically go out with those guys on motorcycles. <laughs> so we went to Traverse City area on the Tuesday we were up there, and I follow Wool and Honey on Facebook. Do you follow them on Facebook? You yes, I do. Them. Did you bring your new bag? I did. Oh, it's I right over there. Did I see him in person? The night you guys brought had the trike, I showed it oh, to you, okay. but we, you were a little, you seemed a little bit overwhelmed. Um, <clears throat> Wool and Honey, we drove. It's in Cedar, Michigan, so it's like northwest of Traverse City, and it took us a couple hours to get there. We've seen some unusual things because we've seen this tree with a bunch of shoes in it, and we had to stop and take a picture, and um, and we were traveling in the truck, so we weren't. We don't take the motorcycle up for that family forced family fun vacation man i hope my family doesn't watch that they're gonna be offended. <laughs> so we went to wool and honey and it's in this cute little town called cedar michigan and it's in this little downtowny area i don't know it's small it's really quaint the store was set up really nice really nice nice yarn so uh, what did i get i'll show the okay so i, I bought a pattern that, and I know I could buy it on Ravelry, but I like to have the hard copy of The Weekender. And I would like to make this in the near future. Look at she has one of those bags. She does. Um, I like her patterns. I just like them. And I still, like I said, I still like the cardstock. And she has, there's a, a Ravelry code on here that oh, you, so can, you can have you it. Can have it on Ravelry too. I thought that was kind of cool. In case you spill, you know, something on your pattern. What else did I buy? Oh, spill yarn on it. Okay, so then I bought. They have this thing. Um. Hope I get one of those for Christmas. <laughs> I'll need to go back. <laughs> um. Oh, you can order on. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here's the receipt. Uh oh. I'm gonna eat that. Um. Don told me today he doesn't watch. Oh, thing. the things, and that's what I told him. Well, that's probably a good I, thing. I think he goes on and he likes it, and oh, he I should again at my use it. You want to smell it? Mmm, leather. This is made in Lelanau, an uh, Trading Company in Empire, Michigan. Um, I didn't look up to see if he had anything online or Etsy. It was it's a local, a local place. Empire, Michigan, but he makes these himself, and it's got the little yeah, it's little embossed really cool. stamp on here, and and Don's like, what are you gonna use that for? I'm like, whatever I want. Right, I, you could even use it for a wallet or a change purse or knitting um, notions. Or... So they carried Tuft products, and we've talked about that before. So I had to get my honey flavored lip balm. Mm. I'm a I'm like a chapstick and lip balm junkie. So I got my tuft, and then yeah, I should have got out my sea glass markers that you gave me. She gave Holy. me some for my birthday. These I got those in Vermilion. These yeah. these little sea glass so stitch pretty. markers. I love sea glass. Um, they sold these in the. I thought the little bottle was cute too. Then I bought um. A pin. I haven't put it on my bag yet. Maybe I'll do it this way. Is, is it, it seems like it's upside down. I bought a pin for my bag. Little campfire love s'mores. So thought it would be cute for my bag. I've been wanting to put all these on. So then I checked out and I was done paying. And oh no, I bought another bag. Oh, yeah, why was I thinking it was a different color? Because I was going to get the other color. So she called me and said, do you want one? Do you want one? But I resisted because, remember, I'm on a bag diet. And I've stuck to it. Um, I love this bag. Regretfully, I've stuck to it. I have not used it yet because, and I've been stalking them online. I've been seeing them online when they're, and I get their emails too. Are you going to take that to Rhinebeck with you? I think so. I think that this will be my purchase bag because of how easy it carries. And it is the, I forget which Don't one. leave it lay anywhere. Oh no. You know, somebody, no. 
No. Knitters Made seem to Portland. be honest. Made in Portland, Oregon by Ritual Dyes is who makes these. And so I just... another, like... It's, yeah, it's like... American Lord, made. Lord knows I probably didn't need this because I bought that... What was the Twig and Horn bag? Olive Green is... So easily forgotten, the poor Twig and Horn. No, I still no. carry that okay. every day. That's my... I carry mm -hmm. that to work with my craft okay. projects and, and a book to read in case I... In case you get something. held up in a, uh -huh. uh, a tornado warning at yeah. a, where were you? A little carry out or no, something? I went in somebody's basement at a farm market, traveling yeah, home from go. work, and tornadoes were coming through a couple weeks ago. <laughs> um, so this, it doesn't have pockets on the inside, but that's okay. You know, like this could be my little notions bag for that. Yeah, that looks cute together. Look at how cute. Mm -hmm. It goes together so nice. So normally my favorite colors are like a hot pink and orange, but this color for some reason has been my been my jam this year. I just love this olive color, army green. It's an olive there. drab, right? There yes. It I know I was kind of looking at vehicles and the vehicle I'm olive drab. looking at, they have this color. Maybe you should do that. I don't need it. I don't need it. Because it'll, it'll go into my yarn stash. So where did we go after that? We went to a Harley dealer. And then down the road was... Oh, darn. So, that's right. So I paid... Honey. I paid... So I'm at Wool and Honey. And I paid for my purchases. And then I gave the lady our business card and said... Um, and I think it's two sisters that run it. They were really nice. So I said... Um, you know, my friend and I started a podcast and probably going to talk about your yarn store because I love it. And she um, gifted us each a pin because I was going to get by these. And she's like, no, no, you can have them. And so very generous and very thoughtful. And so we each got one of these pins. And then I, love that one. Um, I did buy, they had, they carried big, big bad wool. Yeah. The big bad wool, this, and I did get I a couple of skeins. I love big bad wool. It's so soft. I got two skeins of this because I already had this skein. So I got a, yeah, two skeins. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Okay, so we went to a Harley store. There was, there was really only one in that area. We're trying to get all the Harley stores up there. And then down the road, while we're standing there, I'm Don's looking around and I'm like, yarn store's near me. It was 0.5 miles away. Well, well duh, yeah, you have to go there. Trainer. It's called Knitol Knitology, and the guy was so nice, and they have this incredible room set up that was, like, really long with comfortable couches and chairs where they have their knit night. And oh. it was kind of like had a partition, but you could see over there, and then the shop was set up really cute. Very, very nice stuff. Um, very knowledgeable guy, and it was it was a cool store. I would definitely go back there, too. From there, I got um, this La Jolla by Ba Yarn. And the pattern I'm going to knit with it is called the Skyline Cowl by Lisa Stickway. I think it's what, how, it's, how it's pronounced. Yeah, Skyline Cowl. And it ends up knitting and looking like a skyline. It looks really cool. It's the same as my little mm -hmm. scarf. The same. Yeah, the yarn. same. That was by yarn also? Yep. Mm. It's called Dipped and Dappled Scarf. Yes. And they had that as a suggestion for this too, but the skyline looked oh I wondered if it was the same like dyed the same way it must be then but it's just in how you yeah because um, because this they gave this, this was a free pattern like with it yes. okay so I think that's your same oh pattern, yeah right? like mine seen been through a little yeah, bit this, of war. this was the the same yeah. the same pattern was although mine didn't line up like I thought it would because look it, it does it and then it did that and then it again Yeah, I wonder if it was gauge or 
I don't yeah, know, just... but why does it work out sometimes and other times not? I thought I'd finish it and send him a picture and ask him about that. Because I love how it started out. It started mm -hmm. out so cute. But I do like it. It's really soft yarn, and it's going to be a nice, nice scarf. Let me see if I can pull up Skyline. Just made the end came out here. No, apparently I cannot. It's really soft on your neck, too. I like that. I don't know. I don't know if this will work or not. But this is what, oh, yeah, that's an okay picture. Yeah. That's what is this um, made of? 100% super, super wash merino. It's very soft yarn. Machine wash, cold water. So my dilemma is, is if I'm going to, because I only cast on one sock yarn project, because having this to work on, I don't know, but it's that a little would be more a robust. Nice, um, that would be a nice travel project, too, because yeah. the stitch probably isn't real. It's probably an easy pattern, I would think. Yeah, so, yeah, it looks like it's going to be pretty easy. So, famous last words, though. You could stick that mm -hmm. one on the motorcycle. I could stick mine on the motorcycle. Yeah, I, maybe motorcycle this could be the motorcycle project. project because we're going to be on those motorcycles next Friday for probably... Oh, I bet six or seven hours. Yeah. I bet we're leaving at 7.30 in the morning, and I bet it's going to be... It's four and a half hours away. On the turnpike. Yeah. But they're not taking the turnpike, I don't think. Oh, so it's more it's than gonna four and a half hours it's going to be like a back road. It's going to be back roads. Yeah. They don't go to yarn stores either. How rude. We need to find a new group, one that goes to yeah. yarn stores. Um, Did I buy anything else? Harley Chicks with Sticks. That could have a bad connotation, too, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, well. Um, so I think that was it for purchases for me. That's pretty good because we haven't podcasted for a month. We I haven't been to very many yarn stores. I need to go to... The, the idea of getting the trike... My husband's gone a lot for work, so the idea was that we would spend more time together and do more things on the weekends and we really have it's been a lot of fun mm -hmm. so because i'm like hey you want to go to yeah. wherever of the of the four of us i'm probably the one i'm the planner i'm the travel planner she is. Mm -hmm. her husband and i have labeled her the control freak but control that's freak. okay micromanager it's all good we love her anyway look at all the crazy adventures you get to go on because you got a control freak for your podcast partner. Yes, yes she's gotten me in a lot of trouble. Mm -hmm. you know Either what? I'm very easily influenced or she's very pushy. Mm -hmm. Or a little bit of me. Probably both. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, I wonder if we should do our shout outs in case people don't want to watch. We, we should. That in the beginning. We should. So go ahead with okay, yours. Our, our good friend, I keep wiggling the um, iPad. Our good friend, Betty who watches us faithfully uh, her husband ron hi ron hi ron mm -hmm. we wanted to give him a shout out yep so and we're on television mm -hmm. here we are <laughs> and uh, i want to give a shout out to my little second cousins to megan and georgia their teen early teen preteen girls that were on our family vacation and they liked us and subscribed to us so Hi, Megan. Hi. Hi, Georgie. Have Aunt Cheryl teach you how to knit. Mm -hmm. Well, cousin, cousin. Yeah, cousin. Have cousin Cheryl teach you how to knit. I did Me Megan. Okay. Yeah, a couple years ago, Megan, she has an interest. She does a lot of crafty, crafty stuff. So, yeah, she's the crafter of the family. Okay. So, that is all for acquisitions. Hope I didn't forget anything because it seems like I didn't buy much. I know. I wish I need my, to go remedy that. I, I wish to I could find my store. chicken yarn. Maybe that's just telling us we need to knit some of what we have. I don't know. I think it's telling us we need to go to so, a yarn store. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Let's go Could to be. the store on Stearns. So the um, Forest City Knit Girls are going to do a knit along with the, uh, well, it's Yarn Inc., but it's Grocery Girls sock. Uh, well, what did we, we got a little kit with a bag. Yeah, we and showed it some, a couple. Yeah, I showed it before. But I think I'm going to do their knit along with them. When are you starting that? 
Well, it started July 1st, but here it is, the 5th. But I would, I want to get some socks done. I have several starting. (laughs) And I might just do shorties, and I probably won't do the two pair. They said two pair if you do shorty, I believe. And, Sorry, guys, I don't know that I can socks. commit to know. it because it runs from July 1st to August 15th. But and... it'd be fun to, like, use the yarn, yeah. use up some of my stash, and they look so pretty. So so I think I am going to do shorties. I want to, too. I, I just want won't to. enter their thing because I'm not sure. Did it mean <clears throat> you could do what, get one sack done to enter? Because they said two shorties. So does that mean a pair of shorties? Or two pairs of shorties? Or two pairs of shorties. We might need to message those guys and find out. I will. But anyway, I'd like to I'd like to use some of the yarn I I own. I'd like to use it too, but you guys want to go on that ride on Sunday? <laughs> like I'm not, we're never home. We don't have time to knit uh-huh. on the weekends. So what are mm-hmm. you working on? Well you've you almost finished a couple things, though. I have a couple things finished. Why don't you show you're finished, and then we'll show our okay. work in progress. So, we're a little laid back today. Yeah, we're pretty laid back. It's a holiday. We were it's a four-day t- weekend we, for me. We were exhausted when they came home from our ride. Sweaty and exhausted. I cleaned the house because I knew that the rest of the weekend was going to be crazy, and... I sat in a lawn chair outside and wa- in the shade and watched Jim wash his trike. Hmm. It was nice. I didn't even knit. I should have knitted. I I finished this last night. I did the this and this little thing. I got out my yarn for a minute while we were um, at a speedway under the awning waiting yeah, out the I rain. posted that on Instagram. <laughs> um, so, it's a big announcement. Dun, da, da, da. Cheryl's having a baby. A grandbaby. No. <laughs> I am having a grandbaby. I was going to start a rumor that you were pregnant. Wouldn't that be fun? Hey, Ron, well, tell Betty. <laughs> Lord, she's pregnant. Don't, don't no, say no, that because, no. like, where's the fire department? I don't, I'm good. I'm <laughs> too old for that business. But um, February 4th is the due date for our little bean. That's what we're calling it because we don't know yet boy or girl but i'm going to knit some boy and girl hats because there's plenty of people at work actually you know yesterday two people from don's work had babies both boys no maybe it was a third it was the third two guys from don's job their wives had babies both boys within less than 12 hours of each other so i made this hat this is big bad wool for being maybe or it'll be a gift for somebody. We'll see. If it, Maybe it's twins. Maybe there'll be a boy and they a had, girl. She already had an ultrasound, and they it's not because Maybe twins one. Twins run oh. in there in Don's family big time. Like, yeah, like his brothers are twins. He has two, you, he has nephews that are twins. Like, do you think when you see that baby, you'll be able to peel it out of Don's arms? I don't I'm know. I'm guessing no. Let me tell you a story. If Grandpa's. That, are... If this baby is a girl. No, yeah. Gigi is having that baby. Like, I'm not, yeah. no, that baby will be in my arms. But I'm telling you, little granddaughters think there's nothing better than their papa. I'm telling you. So maybe I should have my a grandson. Girl, yeah. Mm-hmm. So that. I don't know. They're both fun. So I made that one. I love them both. All of them. I had a big graduation party this weekend, so of a grandchild. This is the card that came free with the yarn of from Big Bad Wool. So it's really just a basic, and it was, it doesn't, it just has the roll up brim. So th- did the other, did you could do the pom pom or the? Well, I could do a pom pom if I could figure out how to loop. use my pom pom maker. Apparently. I mean, really, how hard can that be? I was tired sure. last night when I was doing it, and there was a little bit of some cussing going on. So when I was at um, Wool and Honey, this was Ooh. one of them. Ooh. Yeah, how pretty. Look at the color, how the color it's looks. It's not the there. boy color, right? No. no, that won't be the boy color. <laughs> well, because that's girl color, um, boy color. Got one on the needles this morning. I couldn't sleep, so I put it on. Um, yeah, I started it. Nice needles. Zing. Oh, no. These are oh, zings. Oh, I thought, I thought they were your signature. No, these are zings. I've never used my signature needles. I do love my signatures. 
I haven't had anything to cast on that is the right. I got page these for that. little tubes from Yarnit and Haberdashy in Columbus a while back. Oh, for your yeah, double to point. Keep them all together so they don't go stray or go rogue, and I miss I end up losing them. So yeah, these I bought this in the blue one from Wool and Honey. That was the only yarn I bought from there. I could have lost my I lost all my poop there, but I didn't. Um, my other finished project is oh, I have two. So I have, I have zero. I've been busy though. The one screen gradient scarf. Got this pattern from. Uh, the yarn stash is the name and she's Etsy created for you by Laura is the name Midwest fiber farms we see them at the fiber festivals mm -hmm. um, we've seen them at co a couple in this area I've seen her in I know she was at Great Lakes fiber festival and she was Wooster yeah she was at the one in Wooster yeah we've mm -hmm. seen her a few times so the Detroit Tigers are our baseball team unfortunately they are not having a good year so I made this scarf I like that. just Put a little on scarf I, want to see how you, how do I, don't, you... I don't even know why well, was it a game yeah that's cute I was at a game in the early spring and it was cold and I was miserable I really want to get one of those leather and they lock loops I have one you don't have one no I don't have one I see they're starting to come into different stores Yes, and people are making them out of old belts and stuff, too. You know who has them? The store no. of Bun Stern. Do you want to go? <laughs> sure. Uh -huh. So, um, this is even blocked. So this is, it's a big day. Wow. I blocked it with that it steamer. Or did you? Yeah. Uh, that steamer is, I so can't So how did enough. you do that? You put it on a mat and then steamed it? Yep. Okay. Yeah, I didn't even pin it. Yeah. I just like I just steamed it out and it just I like used, popped right out. When I made this pattern I used an acrylic and it didn't steam it didn't like black out very well because the yarn didn't cooperate. But, this this pattern But it was for my granddaughter, remember? For Ruby, the purple one. I think this is my fourth one, but I thought for the tigers, like the stripes kinda look tigery. Like and I thought it was when we go to the games in the in the early spring, because we normally only go in the early spring because by this time of year they're no bueno. Yep, they're done for. I haven't. Maybe getting one of those, getting those things would be kind of cool too, though. Yeah. But I, yeah, I haven't tried it on, tried to decide how I was going to wear it. They have at a little boutique, I think, too, some of the leather bracelets. You could wrap around twice and mm -hmm. they would be cute too. I had two granddaughters graduate this year so um the first one had her party and i helped with the food and the decorations so that kind of kept me a little bit busy and then my sister was in town from florida for four days so i had a house full so i didn't touch my knitting through all of that mm -hmm. i gotta get back in the groove again well i have been a cake pop factory so i make cake pops i'm right. out of business right now <laughs> Because I think shops closed in the last since we last podcasted, I think I've made ten batches total. Because I took wow. three to Antonia's for the graduation party, and they were gone. Like, was there any left when everybody went home? I don't think so. She like kept them in the house because it was so hot. She was hiding them, and then she would mm -hmm. bring them out like a pl a tray of them, and then whoever like orders. Does she watch this? Like Meredith, what? How many did know. you keep for yourself? Yeah, how many are still there? No, mm -hmm. okay. I only had one. That's it. I don't even like them anymore. Like I'm. I had a chocolate one. I wanted a strawberry, but I never saw them again. I'm, I'm sick of them. So I need to make a pom pom for this. And I'll figure it out. Last night was just not a good night. This is the hat that I made. It was a free pattern that I got when I purchased the yarn. Is it? It's kind of maybe I should pop it out. Oh, a here. cascade pattern. Yeah. Yeah, it was cascade in the. Yarn was that the Heritage Prints. Um, oh, yarning, sorry. It was a cute pattern. I just, I need to make the pom pom. So That's cute. It. That's it. And then I haven't, I didn't put it on. I don't know how it's going to look on. Like, I'm hesitant to put it on. Actually, might you be giving this away. Hands, though. 
Mm, sometimes. Maybe on those cold winter nights you can wear it in the house. Like, mm -hmm. like your kerchief and mm -hmm. except I'm in hot flash land, so <laughs> yeah. I don't have very many I won't have very many cold nights. Maybe you should give it to Don to wear to bed since mm -hmm. you you'll have the furnace on sub zero. So this was my sock yarn my mindless sock yarn knitting. Like, Which, that's a lot of stitches. This was this was a lot. This was a big commitment. So that's why I think that this might be the next thing that goes on the skyline. So yeah, that was that was a little bit of a commitment. And you need a tassel or a pom pom. I need something on there. I just don't know. I yeah, I don't know. A pom pom maker. How hard could it be? I know, right? Have you used those? A long time ago. Um, the other pattern, and I actually have some yarn that I bought because I, I bought Now you these. make that with the same... It's the same stuff. Okay. Um, this pattern was free also. I bought two skeins of this. And, and I think you can go on to Cascade's website. And it's this FW226. The hat is FW209. And get these for free. So those, yeah, I, I thought these are kind of cute. I didn't bring mine with me because I'm drinking on my Harley. Oh, I don't have a Harley mug. I must get one. No. See? <laughs> a Harley mug. That one probably costs what? 80, 90 what bucks. What is the price of my happiness? That was, and it was Canadian money. This so. was on the 30% off rack. You taught me that. Shop yeah. The sale at, rack. At the, Harley, at the Harley stores, you go to the, sale, to the sale rack because if not, HD stands for $100. Did you bring your sweater to show your sweater I progress my, yep maybe we should show that together since we're working remember on our um <laughs> i haven't worked on it for a while so now i have to look what this what's the name is it spring hill or yeah spring hill sweater is that the name of the sweater yes spring hill sweater it's a good picture these we have it. to have done for ryan back Yuck, yuck, yuck. I have a countdown for Rhinebeck. I wonder how many days that is. And you're further than me, but mine needs to more yarn because mine's a little larger. I need like to. Me. I'm at the point where I need oh, I'm to not like very far at all. So. I'm at the point. I thought I was doing good until now. I see hers. This was my oh. vacation. This was my vacation sweater. Which is an easy knit. Why? And I love... Mine's like Harley colors. I have an idea to make one with an orange front, orange back, this, and lime green sleeves for our little podcast logo. Are you going to have leftovers of that? We should do little hats for the Rhinebeck with like two stripe hats with the both colors. Yeah. Yeah, we could share it then. Yeah, because I definitely because look, at, it'll look good yeah, together. No. I'll definitely have some left because I overbought because I was scared. I did not want to play yarn chicken when doing a sweater. Yeah, I'm, I up my gauge will probably be off because I haven't worked on it for so long. I did. Um, I'm. This is my first sweater ever, so here's my look at my decreases. Looks good. Ta da! Looks very nice. My first sweater, so. And then the, what I had been working on, I my nephew got married, and I'd been working diligently on this. And then, then when I figured out I wasn't going to get it done to oh. wear to his wedding, which ended up being ninety degrees anyway, so because mm -hmm. we're it in was Ohio, fine, in the but I didn't get it done. But I just used the zigzag pattern to make a shawl. And this is the abracadabra. How do you say? Scassel. Scassel. I think so. Yarn, the abracadabra. And so it'll have different colors in it when it's out in the sunshine. So, And then I added some white in it, too, to give it some stripes. Yeah, that's stripes, really cute. So. But that's all the further I made it. And so it's like a half a shawl. But does it feel it feels nice really i mean it's mm -hmm. a little not quite as soft as some things but is there cotton in it or what's in it it is 
It's 55% merino superwash, 28% acrylic, which is probably because of the color, I think. Yeah. And then 17% nylon. I need a drink. So, I'll keep working on it, but it's kind of springy color, so fall, I don't know, but. But it's the zigzag pattern, and I just added some rows and did bigger. I used size 9 and mm -hmm. to make not a shawl, but a, what yeah. do you call that? Not a sh I always can't think of that. It's like the one that you did yeah, from the yarn for Meredith's wedding, right? Yes. It's a... It's like square or rectangle. rectangle. What is that called? I'll think of it. I don't remember. Sorry. Yeah. We were out on those motorcycles for how many hours I yesterday? Know. It was like, we, we well, we got here at 7.45 or 8. In 90 degree weather in a black helmet makes for a lot of I think we wet got, hair. We got back here at 4 or something after yep. riding out the storm. So that's really all I've worked on is that and the sweater. And then this, I'll show this. It's not really mine. I'm just going to... Whose is it? Are you stealing this, people's uh -huh. stuff? This is a friend of mine, Ashley, and oh. she had a little spot in it that she couldn't figure out what she did. But you know how sometimes when you're knitting along, you catch more than yeah. your stitch? I think that's what she did. So I got to... And she's afraid to drop back one, and I mm -hmm. think it's fun. Most fun when it's on someone else's needle and not your own. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm going to fix that mm -hmm. for her. But it's going to be cute a little... So if, I, if you screw up Ashley's stuff, you're not as heartbroken yeah. as if you screw up your own. Right. So I'll get it fixed for her, though. I, She'll be happy. I don't have a lot of works in progress, a lot of whips right now. But I do have my... Oh, I haven't seen that for a while. on it. And I think I'm on section four of star. seven. I, I like their colors. I wish... I don't know. I'm not totally in love like with the colors, colors but I think I'll I'll be fine with it. So it's done. Um, so this is there. You go. I love the I cord edge. Mm -hmm. So that I, is I. I like it a lot. It's like growing on me even more. Like, well, I had needles. I don't remember what needles I tried to cast it on something that had a join they weren't fixed okay so you were catching i bought fixed i bought these or hias because and i i wanted chow gu the red lace ones but they i couldn't find it in this size um my blue lace chai are on the way i hope so i've you know i'm on section four and this is what i have left i'm nervous because I'm hoping that this is going to be put to rest it, for a little while. I was going to say, then, doesn't that one just drop off anyway? So, so. see how it's it's going to go. And this is Spin Cycle Yarn. We treated ourselves, and we talked about that adventure already. So I want to go back to River Colors, too. I need to knit more. You want to go to River Colors, too? <laughs> when are we going there? I don't know. There's a Harley dealer Why do I think there. we're having an adventure this afternoon? No, no. not this afternoon. Well... <laughs> What? She goes, no, not this afternoon. What? Um, I don't know. I haven't, we haven't been to many yarn I stores giant, lately. Because I'm like leaning up. In your we bed. haven't been to yarn stores, many yarn stores lately. We have not. It's been a long time. Other than when our When was the last time we went store. to a yarn store? Probably when we bought this. Other than our home store. Yes, probably. That was a long time. That was in April. Oh my goodness. This is at the no. end of April. It can't be that long ago. Yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't working. I was. So I, I'll have to put some pictures on here. I have a fairy garden. Oh yeah, and it's cute. It's cute if I do say so myself. So who is the she? Somebody well, did something. Who is yeah, it? Yeah. So your one day I get home and there is extra fairies in my fairy garden. No, not fairies. Gnomes in my fairy garden. So I um, put something on Facebook. Well then. I I kind of called out some people. You see called who it was. me out. 
I know I did. I was with you I all called, day on Sunday. <laughs> I called you out, a couple of my daughters, my We sister. were all there. When did it happen? Uh, well, we were at the wedding Saturday night. Oh, I thought it happened on Sunday well, when we were at the no, graduation party. Well, no, I noticed party. it Sunday morning. Oh. So then mm -mm. people were denying it on Facebook. Well, someone that I called out didn't deny it. So um, the next door neighbor, so uh, Lisa and Jeff, they didn't deny it. Well, then he's, Jeff said he would um, start a full investigation. I seen that. And you said, and he had the picture of. <laughs> and then he had a picture of his wife and his grandkids. And he thinks that. In costumes. Two of them, was in, it, costumes in costumes. In yes. costumes. So it was. He thinks yeah. the suspects are in that lineup. So mm -hmm. thank you, Lisa, and your grandchildren. They're very cute. Even, yeah, I, th I thought I it was Sunday. accused your husband because one of one of the gnomes had on um, flip flops and his glasses were down like this, and I did move him so he was like looking at the sunbather. It's like a per little... it's a pervert Santa. Yeah, <laughs> but they're mm. very cute. Thank you. Mm. So. Speaking of gnomes, I had to put some pictures on here of my oops little. Uh, I was on Ravelry. Fairy Garden. You saw gnomes? Yeah. I think Susan B. Anderson. Ah. Knitted gnomes. Those are cute. Everyone should knit a gnome. Yeah, I was looking up gnomes to knit. And I, I don't really know why I was looking up gnomes. <laughs> Nobody gnomes. Wow. But Susan B. Anderson. I've been looking um, at her stuff lately. and I Wasn't she going to be somewhere? Or, she no. is. No. I don't, and I don't Someone think they're, they're not talking, talking about, about that yet. her and said that she was in a knitting group with them before she was famous. Hmm. She's the one that makes those things. Oh, the little, the little like, like butterfly cocoons. Butter, yeah, I want to make one of those. And the, I think, did she make the bunny also? No, no, that's someone. Oh, I thought that bunny, that damn rabbit. We haven't made that Europe. that rabbit pieces of that rabbit in a knitting bag. I have a lot of the pieces done. It's just short. You talked me into that I'm short one. Short three legs to make two rabbits, and then I'm done. Fox in a vest. That's cute. Look up Susan B. Anderson's stuff. Like it yeah, is super cute. cute. There's a hedgehog, hedgy. I've done a hedgehog. That's do you still have that hedgehog? I do. Maybe you should show that the next one. I think I showed she it has on these, here in the beginning. I could show it again though. It is cute. Those things that oh, you can turn cute. inside out. Here's we're looking sitting here. And Becky's on the going down looking, uh, at, looking at a ravelry. Becky's gonna go down the podcast. Oh, there's so much to knit in so little time. Baby hats. Yeah, so... So, Ron, I expect to see something you knitted soon. And Betty, you can't knit it for him? No. Um, Betty is an amazing knitter. She's She amazes me. Her sweaters are beautiful. should show some of her sweaters. Yeah, oh, she gives them all the way, though. We, yeah, we have to do a quick, yeah. have, have her on the podcast. So hopefully <laughs> next time we'll have some finished things to show you. I'm hoping to... Probably yeah. some more shopping. Well, next weekend, I don't think we're going to... I don't know that we'll get off the beaten path. Like, the, I we're on somebody else's and agenda. Nobody's, own, uh, nobody's open at midnight. We could mm -hmm. just sneak off in the night. But. Yeah, so... And then the other thing with our travels next weekend is we only have what we can carry on a motorcycle. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see how this one's going to go. Yeah. We, went, well, we went to Hudson Leather yesterday because Jim needed to get a vest. Well, and we went with a group of we went with a group. 13 motorcycles. Mm -hmm. Don and I went out to Hudson on last Saturday. Yeah, that's, what, that's where oh. we were. So you did it twice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we went out twice. Um, and we bought... 
luggage for the luggage rack of our motorcycle because we have the two saddlebags, a trunk, and then I needed like I'm like, how much space can you dedicate to knitting? Like this much. How until am I gonna until he gets his new speakers, I heard talk oh. of that they will take up space in the saddlebags. Well, then he's not taking any clothes. <laughs> he no, no. I'm. They said only this much. I said that is a in lot both? on each side. I said that's a lot of yarn. That's ridiculous. Oh no, I'm gonna. I need Just to text for speakers. him. I, I need to know. <laughs> like, well, they're not doing that right now, but well, possibly. You can't, you no. can't take away valuable space I know for that's traveling. Like, that's like 12 skeins of yarn. Well, he wants to travel on that thing. Like, I need to have some space. You'll be getting a trailer. <laughs> we passed one on the way and he was like, I'm like, oh, look at that thing. Or he's like, he's like no. And... He's like, no. We don't need that trailer. That And, and he was like, I don't know. Maybe we could pull it or what. I'm like, mm. We but, can put one behind ours. Get a matching one to our mm -hmm. drink. That's the thing I'm concerned about is finding the color that matches the motorcycles because you're going to pay for some serious funding for those. Right. It is going to be... Because we got a special color, too. We got yeah. a green one. Right. And ours is scorched orange and denim black. Like, I don't know what our, our green's called. What's it called? I don't know. Crickets. <laughs> Just crickets. No. Baby what blankets. What is it called? I know everyone's dying to know that. Uh -huh. It's like green, um, and it looks like it has like not cyan, like Constantina wire on no, it. It's gonna bug me. Talk, talk about. Well, yourself. I'm gonna talk about. Okay, talk about that. Um, I'm gonna look up the green. Baby blankets. So I love this, and this is. I want to go up to Yarn Envy because they carry this yarn, and I totally love it. So I bought this a while ago, thinking mm, maybe someday. Can I re interrupt you for go one ahead. second? I just wanted to remind you, like we drew a name and for a, the winner of our 100 subscribers, and we're gonna do another drawing at 200. But the winner was Laura, Laura Jane Hills, and um, we haven't heard from her. I found her. She has a podcast, so if I can't figure out a way to get a hold of you, we may draw another name in our next podcast. So I'll give you till then and mm -hmm. I'll try and get a hold of you. But if you could contact us, that'd be great. Thanks, Laura. Okay, go ahead. Now All right. I'll look so at my color. I was looking through my patterns last night when I was tired and after motorcycle all day and I cleaned my whole house and did all the laundry. Like, I don't know what got into me. And I, so I started looking through patterns. I was, but I found this. I might, I might, since we have this whole baby business coming, I'm trying to figure out, I want to make it, make, I hate saying it, bean. We've been calling it bean. Yeah. I want to make bean a baby or blanket. Or baby. Just baby. Bean baby. And it's bean because they sent us a picture of the ultrasound and it looks like a bean. So it was as big as a fingernail. But like it looked a like a bean. bean. Uh-huh. So I'm getting excited about doing some of this knitting. Um, what else? We have 130. Kinetic. That's what it is. Kinetic? Kinetic green. Mm. Yep. Yeah, it was. That's what it is. It's really nice. You guys did try to find the scorched orange and black, right? We did. So we could all be Twinkies. We tried, but it's unavailable. We did see one. Did you see it yeah, yesterday? Yeah. We saw a trike. Yeah, that we've was... seen one that was the same color. Um, I don't, we don't, when will we podcast again? Who knows? Not Well, maybe we'll record a little bit this weekend or next weekend when we're at the hotel or wherever we're going to be. We're going because we're going we're going to stay near Shanksville, Pennsylvania. Yeah, there's there our is. there's a that's our trike. Um, we're staying in, near Shanksville, and there wasn't a lot of yarn stores in the area. I already researched that. Maybe, maybe I'll try again when we're there. I'll do the yarn stores near me thing. Uh, maybe there'll be one. And then we're so Friday we'll get there Friday, and then Saturday we're gonna go tour the Flight ninety three 
memorial on or all, on Saturday, I guess, and then we're gonna ride over to into West Virginia, and stay at a hotel near a casino, not at the casino. I'm not sure how that works. Like we didn't plan it. Like our somebody from our group did, and um, I don't even yarn, know. Not a lot of yarn stores down near there either. You made reservations, right? Yes, but oh. I, I didn't know anything about. I just made the reservation. I could. I could just send you a thing and be I like, mean, "Just follow yeah, along. Send the know, make just, a reservation for here, and it could be." To we're not going to be the lead motorcycle. Puts along. Mm-hmm. I don't do that, but they have a whole science to it. I those asked guys Jim. Too. I said, do, "Like sometimes I'll put my hands on my legs, and then sometimes I just put them on the sides, just real light, and then sometimes I hang onto those handles because I'm scared." So I said last night, because it was so hot yesterday, does it bother you when I put my hands on your side? And he said, no, that's when I know you're the most content, because he can just tell that I'm just relaxed. Mm-hmm. So so if my hands aren't there, he knows he's making me crazy. Mm-hmm. Not that, I mean, it was fine, but yeah, I I need to learn to relax. I wor- I'm a worrier. And you get used to, you've, you guys have only been on it for a couple weeks. You get used to yeah. it. Like I, I'll sit back. I'll sit back. I'm gonna start knitting. I think on our on our journey. I'm looking around though. I'm actually I'm looking for yarn stores mostly. So my new needles that I'm getting, the blue laces. There's a two inch needle in there. Those would be good from the back of my motorcycle. Oh yeah. When are those coming in? I don't know. Hmm. I need to go pick up my i75 yarn crawl bag. Oh yeah, it's in. Yeah, I know they were there. I just hadn't made it over yet yeah which i'm probably not doing the i-75 yarn crawl because i'll be going to baltimore no i know Boo. i know her and don are cry baby in about it's only five Boo. days five days in baltimore will be fine um yeah would we have anything else i don't think so i think mm-hmm. that about wraps it up so that's it for us if it was too long for you or we're too boring just sorry speed it up yeah, Heavens, we'll be it. talking like chipmunks then. Give us a thumbs up still. Mm-hmm. Tell your friends. Mm-hmm. I think we're up. It was one thirty subscribers mm-hmm. at at two hundred. At two hundred, maybe we'll have Lucy on again, mm-hmm. or just before, because she seemed away. to like promote us and get us a few more viewers. Mm-hmm. Yep. So our All girl right. Lucy. We'll see. We don't. We don't know where our journeys are going to take us today. Yeah. All right, the guys aren't back yet. My goal is to at least have one finished project, and hopefully it's that sweater. But probably not going to happen. We'll yeah, because if we try for aim for two weeks, I don't know what out. Yeah, like realistically, we're not going to get anything finished. We'll just talk about yeah. more stuff that we buy and don't finish that either. Yeah, it's a it's the rabbit hole. We're in it. And and if it keeps being ninety degrees we'll be I'll be in my daughter's pool. So I'll be still at work. work that mo- yeah, at work too. <laughs> yeah, I got that the work business going. Yeah, this is a four day weekend. Time to retire. Though. This is a four day weekend, so yeah. All right. Well, happy fourth of July and be safe the rest of the weekend. Mm-hmm. And knit away. Yep. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.